Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking today's Dreaded D. Rose report. I got Max outside. Maybe he won't jump on me now. Of course, the wife's in here. She'll probably jump on me. Hopefully. Hey, uh, Monday's Raw, believe it or not, averaged a uh, 3.9 million viewers over the course of the three hours, up from 3.8 million the week before. And that was right after the Survivor Series, so that was a good increase. Uh, the first hour garnered about uh, 4 point, uh, a little over 4.1 million, with the second hour dropping just slightly. But the third hour, boom, went down to 3 point, uh, well, not even 3.5 million people. Uh, final rating, uh, rating is going to be later today, but last week's show drew uh, about a 2.73 rating, which marks the fifth lowest episode of Raw in history and the fourth fewest number of viewers for a non-holiday show in the past 15 years. Oh, that hurts. Uh, Thursday Thanksgiving episode of uh, TNA Wrestling on Spike TV only drew about a 1.77 rating, uh, with about 1. Point, a little over 1.2, 1 1.1 million viewers, uh, down from the previous week. This is the lowest rating for a Thursday night episode of Impact now, for almost six years, and the show was uh, down 22 percent from just last Thanksgiving. So, Thanksgiving is understandably going to be down. But you look at Thanksgiving to Thanksgiving, maybe even two Thanksgivings ago, see how it went. Yeah. All right, Matt Hardy, uh, he's going to be appearing in Dream Wave Wrestling this uh, Saturday in LaSalle, LaSalle Knights of Columbus, LaSalle, uh, Illinois, around that way. You might want to check him out. Got some more news on him here in a second. Hang on, just calm down. Uh, the official uh, WWE website has published photos and articles looking back at ring ballets. Well, I wish I had one. I just got this ring right here. Ball and chain. Uh, such as uh, Kimberly Page, Myth Miss Elizabeth, uh, Casey Keebler, Charmel, Beulah McGillicuddy, Deborah, and Tori Wilson, among others. WWE writes, some superstars like to have a company on their way down to the ring without a prodding manager, in a way. Uh, to add that extra flair, these grapplers went out and found the perfect combination of beauty and brains for the ring ballet. And you can check out the, they got pictures and everything on their website. <laughs> uh, hey, Wednesday's uh, birthday, Brett uh, Albright turns 34 years old, Rob Conway uh, 40. Also, this would have been the birthday of WWE Hall of Famer Big Cat Erding Lad. Would have been 74. Now, catch this. Read into it. Let's start some rumors. Read into it, whatever you want. Promoting his appearance this Friday for WOH Wrestling, White's Hall Athletic Club, White's Hall, uh, New York. This Friday, Man Hardy appeared on Passing the Torch radio show. And during the interview, Man Hardy uh, was asked about the responsibility, or rather the possibility, of the Hardy Boys re reuniting in WWE next year. Didn't say the year after or next month. Uh, you know, because right now he's a free agent and Jeff Hardy's contract with TNA is about ready to expire in February. Uh, Matt Hardy responded, very likely. A, if Triple H pushes the tag team division, it could be very likely the way he wants to. All right, Vince McMahon, R-Truth, Layla, Miz, Eve Torres, uh, they return to the States after visiting the troops overseas on Tuesday evening. There was also a discussion to, uh, within WWE about how uh, uh, there's been a large number of controversial finishes in this year's main event matches. Didn't know anybody even paid attention to it, especially you guys at WWE. But it's said that most of the WWE plans for the top storylines are solid through Royal Rumble. But after that, anything else for WrestleMania season is still up in the air and very open to change. All right. Oh, by the way, there was a situation last night at WWE taping in Bowser City, uh, Louisiana, uh, where the lights went out and fire alarm went off uh, between the main event and the Saturday morning slam taping. And apparently Kane's pyro on Saturday morning slam was the cause Alberto Del Rio, always on the spot and on the job, 
he tweets, he says, Soul of the Power goes out in the entire arena and our amazing crew got everything sorted out of ASAP. Show must go on. P.S. Kane's Pyro. No warning. All right. Uh, as noted before, uh, John Cena is going to be on this Friday's episode of SmackDown and Del Rio issued a uh, warning for him. John Cena says, you come to SmackDown, this is my house. You will have to uh, deal with the new apex predator of WWE, Alberto Del Rio. Apparently, he couldn't find another name. Apex predator. All right. Jim Ross says he's going to be appearing in an upcoming episode of Shawn Michaels' hunting show, and Shawn's going to be appearing in a, uh, at a future NXT TV taping, JR tweeted. Nice talking to Shawn Michaels uh, today by, via phone. I'm going to go uh, do some hunting uh, on his show, and hopefully JB, uh, uh, HBK will join us one day on NXT taping down in WWE. A British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith, is uh, gets the superstar spotlight on their website today. And dark main event for last night's uh, SmackDown taping in Louisiana saw uh, Sheamus defeat Big Show by DQ again when Show hit him with a steel chair. Show went um, uh, for more chairs, but uh, you know, for more chair shots. But Sh Sheamus hit him with the bro kick, and it kind of just, kind of just did away with that. Well, I'm going to have to, as soon as I get down here, try and find my nose hair clippers. <sighs> They're coming out in droves. Hey, uh, Vicki Rarell says that uh, she will be with Tamina Snuka this weekend at WWE Live Events. Uh, she says, look out for Tamina Snuka and myself at Raw Live Events this Friday. Asheville, North Carolina. Cougar in charge, taking care of business. Tamina Snuka, uh, prevalence and strength. Uh, show will uh, dominate inside now, the only to find its association with Cougar in Charge. Anyway, she likes that Cougar in Charge. Be wise to the company you keep. So glad I have Tamina Snuka and Oksana uh, to keep me grounded with positive thoughts and energy. I ain't seen too much of that lately. Hey, the upcoming main event listing for uh, uh, WWE's December 25th show from Madison Square Garden includes Ryback taking on Punk in a steel cage match. And Dolph Ziggler and John Cena with The Miz as special guest referee. So that might let you know a little bit of what's coming up in the world of wrestling. The Shield members, as Seth Rollins posted uh, his first tweet since debuting on Raw. He says, breath of life into gasping lungs. Uh, we are uh, here to right wrongs. Oh, by the way. WWE's United States Champion. Un Damn, my camera. On, uh, the hard drive filled up on my camera. Uh, if you noticed any glitch or any weird things going on. But anyway, the Shield member, Seth Rollins, he posted his first tweet since debuting on Raw. Uh, he said, Breath of Life into Gasping Lungs. He says, We are here to right wrongs. The Shield, WWE. Uh, I wonder what wrong is going on. Anyway, WWE uh, United States Champion Antonio Cicero is celebrating 100 days with the strap. Congrats. Hey, thanks for clicking, you guys. I got to go.